Scott Sutton joins us on ORUGoldenEagles.com after the first men's basketball practice of the year. And, Coach, uh, seemed like an active practice. Talk about your impressions of uh, the first official practice for your squad this year. Well, it was good. Guys, uh, they were excited, and they should be the first day of practice. Uh, uh, worked hard, and, you know, we have so many new guys. It's a lot of teaching going on, and we probably didn't get as much accomplished as they as, uh, as I had hoped. But, this is a great group, uh, very talented, very athletic, and you know some of these new guys. It's going to take some time for them to get acclimated, but once they do, uh, they're going to be very good players. You guys have a, a big hole to fill with the departure of Dominique Morrison, but a lot of good candidates to fill that spot: Damon Bellholter, Stephen Roundtree, Warren Niles. Talk about how those guys performed uh, in their first uh, practice without Damo. Well, they, they did what you expected, uh, you know, two seniors to do, and Damon and. I uh, warn and also, you know, Trey's uh, is about as experienced as juniors as uh, you can get because he's played so much the last two years. And, you know, like you said, it's, it's hard to replace Dominique, but those guys uh, in their own right are very, very talented. And, you know, I'm not worried about, uh, you know, the scoring points. I'm really not. I think we have enough offensive weapons that we're going to be fine as long as guys will be unselfish and uh, take care of the basketball. And, and these guys uh, – you know, play up to their potential, which I think they will. A lot of folks are uh, really excited to see Sean Glover in action. Had a real good blue-white scrimmage in front of the fans last year. Obviously had to redshirt uh, after transferring from Utah. Talk about his first practice and uh, what you expect out of Sean. Well, you know, Sean was with us all last year, so I knew what to expect. Sean's a very talented player and uh, can really score the basketball. And, uh, you know, I know he's... He's excited. It's tough to go through a redshirt year like he did, knowing that you're not going to play any games. And uh, so he, he was, uh, you could tell there was, there was an excitement there that uh, uh, there probably wasn't there last year, and, and that's to be expected. Uh, you got a lot of new faces, uh, Tremel White, uh, Corbin Byford, Caleb Tannehill, Jordan Kaufman, just to name a few. Uh, a lot of new faces participating in their first official practice. Who of the newcomers do you think is most ready to contribute for you guys out on the court when you get started in a couple weeks? Well, it's hard to say now. I mean, through one practice, it's, uh, you know, you, you would hope that a guy like Tremel White, who's a junior college player, who's, you know, Although he doesn't have any Division One experience, he'll be able to uh, to get acclimated a little bit quick, more or quickly. Uh, and then DJ Jackson, you know, he's a redshirt freshman, and both those guys will be uh, vying for the point guard position along with Mikey Mangan. But you know, DJ practiced with us last year, the last uh, half of the season, and uh, so I, I think those two guys. And then you look at guys like Jordan Kaufman, who, with our lack of depth inside, uh, I, I think he's going to have to help us. And he had a great great fall uh, workout with coach Herman and really did a great job with his body of getting stronger and then you know Corbin Byford Oklahoma player of the year and uh, really impressed with uh, you know how, how he played today and how he's been this uh, since he's been on campus. Hey, coach Godson thanks for joining us on uh, ORUGoldenEagles.com. Thanks Rob.